Hello, welcome to Nets of Hope. This is Cindy. Good to see you today. I'm coming on today for this channel to open the doors of the hidden sanctuary of God that he showed me that would come forth in time. My YouTube channel has been that, but it wasn't quite time for the hidden sanctuary to just, I mean, just bust open, just bust open and begin to uh, do a mighty work. But it's time now. It's time now. Things are about to kick off um, this summer. Things are about to get really serious this summer, which includes this very month. Uh, if you have not listened to the video about what the Holy Spirit said, uh, go back to the videos before this one. Um, that it's a word from the Holy Spirit, uh, and it talks about earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. And that's all I'm going to say. You, you go back to that video. My job on this video uh, is to minister to you about the hidden sanctuary of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he will have many, but he has given me a dream and he has shown me that um, I will be leading these groups of people in this hidden, hidden sanctuary. And we will be rejoicing. We will be praising God. We will be serving the Lord with such vigor, such joy, and just worship, just pure worship and just, just praising him, guys, glorifying him as Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And so I come to you uh, at, this, at this time in the morning. I've made one other, one other video that's going to go with this video. Um, and, and then I'm going to make possibly one more video. I'm just letting the Holy Spirit lead me on that. Uh, but I'm coming before you with nothing written down, nothing, no prescripture, nothing. And I'm letting the Holy Spirit take over. So let me have prayer, and then I'm going to go into what he's laid on my heart. Dear Heavenly Father, dear Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, I thank you and praise you for this day, Lord. I pray that you would just lay on my heart all that you want to say to my brothers and sisters about your hidden sanctuary and how we are going to open the doors wide and begin to minister to the left and to the right and every city, every state and um, those that can have YouTube channels, they can minister to the nation, but also nations. and. Um, Help me to help them, Lord, to be boldly and not be shy about giving out their phone number. Um, it's a very strong boldness to do that without feeling like you're going to be threatened. And I do not whatsoever feel threatened. I've been giving out my phone number for years on my channel. Uh, I don't have time, Lord, and you know it, for me to sit there and read thousands and thousands of emails. Uh, but a text message is so easy to get the little beep noise on my phone and respond and just go from there and minister and counsel to people. And so, Lord, I pray for wisdom and knowledge, not only for myself, but that you would open the hearts and minds of my brothers and sisters that are listening to this video or new subscribers that are listening to this video and that they would want to join your hidden sanctuary on this channel. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now then, brothers and sisters, um, the Lord Jesus wants us to get on the move. We've got to get on the move. This great earthquake is coming. And again, you're going to have to go to the video. I'm not here to explain or talk about that. But there's a... a, a or the Holy Spirit said earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. And uh, so uh, I believe that we're about to see change this very month. Uh, I don't know all the answers to that, but as soon as he gave me the word to that on March the 25th, um, within 
I want to say within 24 hours, one day, earthquakes started in New York City. And um, before he ever gave me that word, the Lord, and it's also explained in that video, the Lord gave me uh, a Bible study to do in the book of Revelations. And he showed me where we're at in the Bible and that the third seal is around the corner to be opened. And then he showed me where exactly we are in Matthew 24. So I encourage you to go seek out that video on my channel. Please subscribe to my channel if you're wanting to be a part of the Hidden Sanctuary and you want to get updates as to what the Lord's doing and what the dreams and visions He's given me, what they are, the Word of the Lord as He gives them to me or from the Holy Spirit. And uh, um, anyway, so let me get started. So what is the Hidden Sanctuary? The Hidden Sanctuary is the true worship place of God and each and every one of you that truly worship God in your heart your heart is a hidden sanctuary to the Lord Jesus Christ but we can also come together as believers and be grouped together in this hidden sanctuary and have more power more power and don't you want that? Don't you want that deutimous power of the Holy Spirit and that we've all got like-mindedness, okay? So, uh, first of all, I want to say this. You don't have to make this ministry hard. And the Lord Jesus doesn't want you to make it hard. He wants you to make it the perfect size for you your time schedule with 40 hours a week work, your house chores, your lawn mowing, uh, or whatever else you might do. But he does want you to limit your TV watching time, your sitcom time, your time hanging out, just foolishly wasting time in front of the TV. He wants you to change that about yourself. That is a a world system um, episodes that come right through your TV screen to occupy you, to keep you busy watching those things instead of doing the things of God. This hidden sanctuary is going to be talking about those things and how they are addictive, how they are easy for we to all for us to all tap into. Do you know I do not have a TV? I haven't had a TV in years. Now, I did have a friend on my uh, YouTube channel that bought me a laptop computer. Um, but before he got me that laptop computer, uh, I had gotten a flat screen TV and was trying my hardest to get up my YouTube channel and was using the flat screen TV as like a computer screen. And so I had that for a while, then I just gave it to my granddaughter because I really didn't have a use for it. Uh, but my son set up Netflix on there for me to watch Christian movies uh, with me and my granddaughter. We have cuddle up time and uh, we used to anyway. She's a teenager and is just gonna graduate this next year. So we don't do that too much no more. She's in a different frame of mind. But anyway, um, so, what the Lord wants you to do is work in your, your local group of friends that you text, that you talk to, neighbors, co-workers, um, your shopping place, the marketplace. He wants you to look outside the box of your way of thinking and used wisdom and knowledge that what could you do, say for instance, to help me build this channel, to help the Lord build this channel, you could take your computer and you could make some little bitty coupons that are advertisements of this ministry and even other YouTube channels if you so care to do so. It's an easy ministry. And you can get the word out there about Nets of Hope, about this hidden sanctuary. 
and uh, you could literally put them on windshields of cars. I would encourage you to put them in a cheap, inexpensive Ziploc baggie in case there is moisture or rain to where uh, even a water sprinkler at your workplace could not get the word that's on your hard work wet. List the YouTube channel and help the Lord grow this YouTube channel. Share the videos from this YouTube channel. That will help grow this YouTube channel. But it is a ministry that you own, that you're dedicated to, that you want to do for the Lord. And um, so anyway, the Lord wants you to consider some people that are going through a hard time that could be your close local friends, your co-workers, that you could pull to the side and say, you know, I want to, I want to, would you like me to pray for you? I know you're going through a hard time. Lay your hands on them, put your arm around their shoulder, hug on them and pray for them and get them to be close to the Lord Jesus Christ. And then offer your phone number up for grabs and say, hey, would you like to fellowship once or twice a week after work? Uh, and I really want to minister to you and help you. And then just start being there. Just start being a listener. That's all you have to do is being a listener, listening to their hardships and listening to their burdens. Maybe they're having a warfare that you could help with. And the Holy Spirit will lead you if you ask him to please help you and counsel them and minister to them. Now then, I want to read to you some scripture. In Psalms 32, verse 8, it says this. The Lord says, it's a promise. I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. So he wants you to be dedicated to trust and have faith in this word, just like you are dedicated to get in your car and be able to go somewhere. The Lord wants you to jump into this word, jump into a great faith that you will be able to go somewhere with a brother and sister in Christ or a person that's lost and that he will jump in on that with you because that's his will. He wants to help people. He wants to love on people. He wants those brothers and sisters to have a healthy uh, hidden Sanctuary YouTube channel that they can start connecting with that makes sense with them, that blesses them, that will encourage them to also start up their ministries or to help them with their burdens because we're going to do Bible studies on this channel. So the Lord wants you to remember something. He wants you to remember something, and it's a scripture that the Holy Spirit has led me to. It says, For I came to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's enemies will be the members of his household. That's why you can't save them, because they see your imperfections. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. He who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who does not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Do you want to be worthy? You can be. He who has found his life will lose it. And he who has lost his life for my sake will find it. That's all I want to read of that. Now then, I just want to share this with you. Brothers and sisters, we have all sinned. The Lord wants you to take your sins and he wants you to forgive yourself. And you have to have mercy and grace upon yourself. Let's say, for instance, if you committed adultery last night, 
And you really want to run for that, run from that, because you feel the fear of God every day when you wake back up that you're still faced with that adultery. Well, stop it. Don't do it no more. Or if before you went to bed last night, you masturbated, whether you're a man or a woman, both can masturbate. But yet you still keep feeling this heaviness within you that you don't want to do that. Well, that's a stronghold of the devil working in you and god can deliver you from it if you will let him set you free but you got to mean it you got to stay away from it because it will not allow you to be in the work of the lord jesus christ that will constantly be heavy on your spirit and you won't be able to be free of it until you repent of it and turn away from it I've learned that on my own. I used to do those things long ago. I don't do them anymore. Or if you're um, wanting to have those occasional beers after work or wine, but yet you drink until you get a little slurred or a little loosey-goosey, the Lord doesn't want you to have that. My mother came down with cirrhosis of the liver and she thought that two little small bottles of wine about this size would be okay. But she had two bottles a day, seven days a week, every month for years. It caught up with her. And the doctor told her she had cirrhosis of the liver and that's what her husband died of. And his uh, began to swell the liver so badly it was three times the size of a human liver and his built up massive polyps in the intestinal tract and all those massive polyps turned into cancer and he literally bled to death the cancer was eating his intestinal line completely through and through don't go there and let the devil cause you to be addicted to one or two beers or one or two bottles of wine. Give it to the Lord and ask the Lord to help you with those desires and let him take them from you so that you might live and see your family and friends saved and get to be with us in the end times ministry. Uh, excuse me, I'm letting these dogs know they need to go on home. Go home, go home, good girl. Okay, so um, any form of addictions that you might have, whatever it may be, some of you might even be food, I don't know. Um, some of you may allow yourself to constantly get depressed about things. That's not of the Lord, he doesn't want you to get depressed and you can give him that depression and he will help you with that. But you have to be willing to wanna to give it to him in a dedicated, faithful way, just like the addictions just like the drinking just like the masturbation you have to give it to him in a faithful way and mean it in your heart anyway the lord wants you to become foot soldiers for christ he wants you to become shepherd girls and men that are shepherds for the lord jesus christ's heart he wants you to do a mighty work and all you have to do is just decide to minister to one to three people. Once you start ministering to them faithfully every week and you decide how, whether it's taking them out to eat, having fellowship by phone, and just finding out what their burdens are and minister to them according to the Word of God and let the Holy Spirit guide you. One other thing. Many of you don't know this, but I'm going to teach you. <coughs> I have plantar fasciitis and I have a bone spur that's broken in my left heel. And I want you to know castor oil breaks down bone spurs. Castor oil takes the pain out of plantar fasciitis feet. Castor oil right before bedtime on your feet will give you sweet sleep, but don't over medicate it. Don't make it too thick because it will cause you to not wake up and your alarm will go off. You'll shut it off and 
you'll drift right back to sleep. It can be a heavy flu-like deep sleep. You don't want that. Don't put it too heavy and use your Q-tip to swab it, but it will give you sweet sleep. But also the Lord showed me his holy word right before bedtime is the 11th harmonics. Only if you read it out loud. You can read three scriptures out loud, three chapters. And um, you can read it out loud and then ask the Lord for sweet sleep and to, in Jesus' name, to sleep like a newborn baby, and he will. And um, I'm just giving you these tips because we're all going through hard times. If you had suffering, pain in your knees, your legs, your joints, this is good for anything and everything. Um, you literally could put it on and it will help you. Um, and uh, so anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, but I'm asking you brothers and sisters for you to make a decision to subscribe to this channel. I want to grow this channel by a thousand subscribers before June the 1st. And by the first week in June, I'm hoping to get 1,500 subscribers so that I can start going live. I understand you have to have so many subscribers faithfully uh, before you can go live. I can't go live without your help. So please share this video with up to three people a piece per person uh, or more. And if you will go to work, go to the library, okay? You guys can use, um, oh, what's that thing called? A flash drive. And you literally could make some little flyers and you can use one sheet of paper and have up to 25 fly flyers that you could cut up with some scissors and put in a little snack, cheap Dollar Tree Ziploc snack baggie to keep it from getting wet from a water sprinkler or moist of fog, dew, or rain put it in there, put it on their windshield, where when they get in the car, that's looking right at them in the face to join this YouTube channel. That could be your ministry. And so I'm asking you guys to step up to the plate and begin your ministries now. We cannot be a church that just comes to worship. We're all about entertaining ourselves, but we're about doing nothing more than... Um, sitting around and I'm tired, I wanna watch TV and it's time for me to have a break. Well, we're about to have TV and things like that cut off. And besides that, do you know that the Lord is writing down books on every one of you? That's written in Revelations. Hold on, I'll be able to tell you about it. It's the great white throne judgment. Hold on. I'll tell you about it. Read Revelations 20. Starting at verse 11 and 12. Here it says, Then I saw a great white throne, and him who sat upon it, from whose presence earth and heaven fled away, and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead and the great and the small standing before the throne. And the books were opened. Every person on earth has a book. Books since you started speaking as a small child. There are books that are written on you one per year of your life. And uh, Hope Owens was shown that. Um, library in heaven and you can go to her YouTube channel she's got it as her name Hope Owens um, she was carried up to heaven by the Lord Jesus and shown that and then it says and another book was opened which is the book of life and the dead were judged from the things which were written in it the books according to their deeds anyway that's something to think about. So the Lord knows if you're just hanging out in front of the TV after your 40-hour work week every day 
He knows if you're doing something or you're doing nothing and you're following a little bit of your world lustly desires by watching TV. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with TV, but overindulging and watching it every day, every day, every day, when you could have been doing something for the time that you would have been watching a video, you could have been ministering to somebody, making a difference before this great, these great, great earthquakes hit and before uh, the events that are gonna take place, which I'm just gonna share in a few more videos that are gonna happen this summer, uh, you need to come back for those videos because the Lord's been showing me. I mean, I have been crying out to him. I don't wanna work for the world system. I want to serve him as my Lord, my King. And I'm literally have been crying. And I said, how much longer, Lord? And he will keep showing me the emergency lights. He has kept showing me that my finger, which is this finger and this finger, is assigned to two different time clocks at work. And he showed me my finger will one day, when I come up to it, it won't know me. I won't be able to clock in. That's already started in two different meat departments at two different stores my thumbprint will not work from day to day. They had to reschedule me another secondary fingerprint up by the courtesy booth in order for me to clock in and out at work. And so that's already happened. So that's showing me that the Lord showed me that my finger would, wouldn't work, that I would be taken out of the world system soon and very soon. But he's showing me that I was going to be waiting upon uh, an emergency event and I'll tell you about that in another video so you're going to have to stay tuned to those all those visions and dreams and things that he showed me and that's been going on I want to say about nine months it's been going on for about nine months anyway I love you brothers and sisters I'm off to the grocery store my new upload place is the grocery store while I'm getting groceries and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna take care of some more videos because I'm behind uh, because of something. I don't know what it was. I just know the Lord removed it, but it started on uh, the 7th of May and I slept for uh, too many hours and I couldn't uh, wake up steadily to get out of it. And then it was something that just kept weighing me down uh, for like three days straight. And he delivered me from it this morning, made the weather sweet. And so I was able to get these videos out. Anyway, I love you guys. Please subscribe to this channel. Please share this channel with your brothers and sisters in Christ that are ready for action. And I just, I plead with you. Please read Matthew 10. Take up your cross and follow him. And decide what you're going to do for your ministry whether you're passing out information about this youtube channel or and counseling to several people every week to help them with their heavy burdens and the areas that they're stuck in and they can't seem to get out of those areas i love you i gotta go have a wonderful day and may the blessings of the lord be upon you Lord, grant each one of them wisdom and knowledge and help them to not be able to forget about these two videos that I have made about the hidden sanctuary. And, um, and then help me to make one more video, Lord, that gives them details of how they could help a person and be an attentive listener about how they could minister to them and help the other person get out of their heavy burdens and began to have joy and began to seek the things of the Lord again. I love you. Peace out for now. Praise the Lord that you listened all the way to the end. Please lay your name down at the altar of the Lord on this YouTube channel in the comment section and let the Lord know that you are very interested in this ministry and that you want to do something in your local area to help the Lord and with your family, your friends, your co-workers. Lay your name down. But it's not to me. It's to him. So if you lay it down, do not play with the Lord. 
be serious, dedicated, or look for him to really chastise you. Do not play. Be very serious about the Lord's business. It's important, guys, and too many are not that close to the Lord, and we need to help them to get closer before these things come forth. I love you. Peace out for now. Be serious, guys. Be serious. In Jesus' name, amen.